Okay, welcome back to part 14. Here we're gonna create our menu. So we need to make a menu inside the dashboard. So a user menu when they log in. Uh, so what we're gonna do is come back to, uh, this is basically what we have here. And uh, obviously we don't have any menus that we want. Um, so uh, even if you click tables, that's not, you know, there's no menu. Uh, <clears throat> so we need to create a, a menu, right? Um, so what we're gonna do is come back to Bootstrap. Type in uh, Bootstrap 4.5, and then Introduction to Bootstrap. Click on uh, the search here, or you can do whatever uh, on the documentation. So here I'm gonna put uh, Nav Panel. I think Nav Panel. Okay, so we're inside the Nav Panel. So this is gonna be your Navs um, Nav Panel. Look, you can have all this like that. So. So that's not bad, but we also need to have a drop down menu. Um, so um, the best thing to do actually to grab, the best thing to do would be to grab pills, nav pills. But this doesn't have a, a drop down menu. This one does. No, no, this doesn't. Uh, nav fill, nav pills, nav fill. And this doesn't have a drop down menu. This doesn't have a drop down menu. These ones are called tabs with drop downs. So pills with drop downs. Okay, good. So let's grab this, copy that. Come back here. Uh, let's open our view. Uh, go to dashboard. Uh, so inside the views, inside the views, click on users, dashboard. And in here, I'm going to grab all this and paste it in, save it. Make sure your rail server is running. Once your rail server is running, you can come here and refresh this and it should be looking really ugly, of course. So let's look make it look nice. To make it look nice, <clears throat> we're going to have to, what am I doing? To make it look nice, I'm just going to collapse. Okay, so I'm going to collapse this uh, unordered list that we grabbed from Bootstrap and come over here, type in uh, div, uh, div.container. So this is, again, if you to create a just purely HTML. This part is pure HTML. So we have a container and we have to make a row. So div uh, dot row like that. And inside that row, let's see what did they, what they did here. So come back here to this URL where we grab the theme. And um, <clears throat> obviously whatever you do, um, even if you click on pages, uh, nope, jeez. Uh, even if you click, like, <clears throat> whatever elements you see. Uh, you know what? Um, I'm not going to put this. I'm not going to, no need to put that. Um, uh, over here, I'm going to, because here we're just putting the menu. So we have a container with a menu. That's what we have. So with a row and a menu. So let's grab this uh, nav pills. Command X, put it here. Like that. It's gonna look ugly, so make sure that it's perfectly aligned. Hit the tab key twice, like that. Oh, so you could uh, follow it all the way down. Just like that, save it, come over here, uh, back to three localhost 3000 dashboard, and there it looks a lot better. Now, we have a problem here. I don't know what that issue is, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. Uh, so I'm just gonna put for now, I'm gonna make the height of the container equal something. So uh, style, this is bad, but it's not bad. It's just you can you can you can put like inline style. Style equals uh, height. I'm gonna say I don't know 1400 pixels for now, just so we can keep working and so it doesn't look bad. Okay, save it. Uh, come back to Chrome, refresh, and it should be high, that height. So now this background here, by the way, it's uh, dictated by. Uh, one of the elements here inside, not the elements, it's dictated by the class. So I want you to go to layouts, application.html.erb, and I believe it is the content here, right? It could be the content, but the content is uh, the whole page, actually, this whole content wrapper. I'm going to just do this for now because it just solves a big problem. Style equals uh, background dash color. Let's make that white, okay? Like that. Save it, come over here, refresh, and it should be a white background. But the thing is, now that we have a white background, um, uh, this looks kind of ugly. <laughs> uh, 
So uh, I guess I guess we can remove this style background white. Uh, let's come here, refresh it. Now it looks it looks a little bit better, does it? So let's just work right now on uh, this active thing. Now this active thing, um, <clears throat> just remember the reason why this is active is because the minute the user clicks on it, like we get, it's going to be dashboard for us, right? It's going to be dashboards for us. So uh, the reason why it's active is because on dashboard, on this one, they put a class called active. But via JavaScript, normally, um, we're going to do this with Rails, obviously. So if the page is dashboard, then make sure you add this class active. So I'm going to remove this, obviously. And I'm going to put uh, dashboard uh, dash, uh, dashboard. And over here, I'm going to put. Um, this is what this is a drop down. Hang on. So this is a drop down. So uh, I'm gonna call this a drop down. I'm gonna leave it as is. And here I'm gonna do this. Should be it's just a nav link. So I'm gonna put uh, pets pets you pets you adopted you adopted. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna do another list item. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna delete this uh, disabled stuff. I'm gonna repaste this and it pets you uh, pets you put up you put up for adoption like that. So now when I click save and I come over here, you'll see a drop down. I'm gonna leave this drop down uh, there. I think I'm gonna call this settings. Okay, so I'm gonna call this uh, drop down settings. Uh, set Things. And I'm going to just cut this here. I'm going to cut the settings drop down, command exit, and then bring it, at the, put it at the very end, <clears throat> save it, and then come back to here, refresh it. So I'm going to call the settings. Okay, so now um, the active class is removed. So since the active class is removed, uh, I want to start uh, the other way around because whenever I hover a link, I want it to be looking a little prettier. So uh, I'm going to click on inspect like that. And I'm going to do, uh, yeah, inspect. So this nav link, whenever it's hovered, the nav link, whenever it's hovered, I don't, I want to have a, a border radius. So this is nav pills, nav link. I want border radius to be zero, zero pixels. Okay, I want the background background to be uh, background, uh, just background is enough. Background to be, <clears throat> let's call it, uh, for now, let's call it red so then we can, oh, I see. Okay, so I see. So let's just remove this background, remove this, uh, do command Z. Um, so if we did have this active here, if we did have this class active, what would it be? So you would just leave active there. <clears throat> so it would be a pill. So it would be a pill. So what we want is a nav link. So whenever the class is active, whenever the class is active, I want the border radius border dash radius to be zero pixels and then i want the background to be a lot lighter actually first of all the color i want the color to be this color here okay so i don't want it to be fff i don't want it to be white and you'll see in a second why and i want the background to be like that Just trying to get the right one there. This this background like this is a lot a lot better. Okay, so I want the background to be like that, and I want to grab this uh, nav pills nav links active. So just grab. You can you can just grab. Well, you can grab that if you want like this. But remember, it's not. Uh, you see why those are nav pills. This, these are not. It doesn't matter. What we what we're targeting now is nav pills and nav nav link active okay nav pills and nav link active that's what we're targeting so you can just grab the whole thing 
just click away from it. Gotta grab the whole thing here. Copy that. Come to uh, assets, uh, styles, style sheets, asset style sheets, and then click on um, the main style sheet, which is application.scss. So I'm gonna paste it here. <clears throat> now this nav pills, this doesn't, this I don't care about that. I just want the nav pills nav link active. So save that. And also, also I want a border. I want a border underneath it. So here I'm gonna put uh, border uh, dash bottom. This is just CSS. Uh, three pixels uh, solid. Yeah, I like got three pixels solid. And you can put the color here to make sure it never nothing happens. Three pixels solid like that. So let's grab this border bottom that we just did here. Copy that, come back here. So whenever it's active, like if you're in the dashboard, uh, it means like if the page is dashboard and this is active, now it's just HTML. But when we are uh, implement this properly with uh, embedded Ruby, um, whenever there is the class active, the JavaScript will do it. Okay, we're gonna do it via JavaScript that whenever this is dashboard, whenever this is Petsy adopted page, whenever this is a settings page, that this will have a drop down. We'll have, it will look like that <clears throat> instead of like that. But these ones here, um, I want them to be also to have a background like that as well. So let's come here and grab this uh, color border radius information that we did without the without the border. Okay, so copy that. Come back over here, inspect the next link that is not active. And we want it to be like this. Okay, but we also want a, a margin to the left and to the right. Okay, so we want to have the nav link to be like that also. Okay, so copy that. So <clears throat> and so dot nav uh, dash link okay like that and then we can paste that in so you want the nav links to look this way also but then the, you're going to notice here when we refresh this <clears throat> you're going to notice that uh mm, that's okay because we just need to target it we need to target it so it's only nav pills nav link so we need to just make sure that it's only the nav links we need to target it better that way it doesn't hit all navigation links. So just refresh it like that and there. So the only thing that it's being targeted is the nav pills. So now we also need a, um, uh, we also need a, a margin left, okay? So uh, nav pills, let's put a margin, nav pills nav link uh, and let's put a margin left so if you do a margin left this will have a margin left this will have a margin left this will have a margin everything will have a margin left so uh, let's do margin left so margin dash left um 15 pixels save it come back here refresh so everything has a margin, will have a margin left. I don't, except this one, I don't want this to have a margin left. The first one, no margin left. So um, come back to dashboard, uh, no margin left. Okay, so I'm gonna put no, uh, no dash margin dash left. I don't know if this is uh, NML. I'm just gonna make it up right now because we need to move forward, guys. I mean, uh, I'm gonna call this, what will I call this? My helper classes, I guess. My helper classes. You can do this stuff, huh? You can do whatever you want, but as long as you keep it organized and everyone knows what it is. Uh, and then, <clears throat> and then we can come back later if it has problems with mobile. Uh, margin dash left, uh, zero pixels important, important. I'm just gonna say important so it overrides everything else. So NML, NML, this is the class, come back to dashboard and, oh, it's there already, okay. So that's it, make sure you save the application.scss, come back here, refresh, and this one should not have a margin left. Okay, so the first one, but everything else is margin left, so here, Okay, that's very good. Now, the minute it's hovered, the minute um, 
uh, it's hovered, you see? Not not just hovered, but if we clicked here, the pets you adopted, right? This is just a link, right? But the minute you hover over it, so if I was to make a change, right click on the, like, look, once you, you know that this is selected, just right click on it and just say, <clears throat> for state, click on hover. And uh, you, when you see it's, it's hovered, nothing is happening. So what I want though, when it's hovered, I wanna have a border bottom, okay? So the nav link, for the nav link, I wanna have a border bottom, okay? When it's hovered or when it's uh, active or when it's focused, okay? So hover, active, and focus. That, that's, these are basics of HTML when it comes to hovering. So uh, come back over here. And uh, so nav link, nav pills, nav link. So I'm gonna copy all that. I'm gonna paste it here. And then what I'm gonna do is all I want here is a border bottom. I don't care about the margin left. I don't care about the border radius. I don't care about the background. All I want is a border bottom, which is here. <clears throat> Copy that. Okay, and when it's uh, when it's hover, uh, when it's hover, and then what you want to do is copy the whole thing again, copy it, and then put a comma when it's uh, active, <clears throat> active, uh, and when it's in focus, when someone clicks on it. Now I know the active is here already, but that's just a class. This is not a state. It's just a class that's added in JavaScript when. Uh, when the page is dashboard, right? It means it's the active page. So I'm gonna save that, come over here, and this should be, I'll show you in a second. You'll see nothing, but when I hover, look, perfect. Okay, uh, now this one here on focus, drop down toggle, that's just different class, so when, the minute you click on it, it's a little different, because here in the settings, the one that we called settings here, there's another class called drop down toggle. So this drop down toggle uh, on click, which is on focus. Okay. So uh, come here. Let me make sure you put a period dot nav click and then a drop drop that uh, drop down toggle. Um, uh, over here, I'm gonna just. So what I want is the minute it's uh, I don't want it inspect. I don't want it to be like this. I just want it to look just like that, but without the border. So navpills.show nav link. That's the one. Navpills.show nav link. Right? When it has the show. When it has the show. Mm -hmm. There is no show class here. Nav link drop down toggle on click on focus on hover okay uh, okay let's do that on uh, on hover okay and then and then do the same thing okay copy this and then paste it here on uh, focus and on copy that and without a comma because it's the last one and on uh, so focus hover and uh, Active, I guess. Active. And then uh, I think active is not, but it's okay. Uh, and then put put everything else but the border bottom. Copy that. Everything except the border bottom. So the color, the background color is this pretty, you know, faded white, and the border radius is zero. So save it. And this should target. This should target this here. It should target it. Okay, there we go. But, uh, oh man, oh man. So I guess on click, there's the hover. So I guess it is this um, nav pills show nav link. Let's just copy that then. Uh, I guess that is that, that's all right. Save it. There you go. But uh, uh, border bottom, we're gonna put border bottom, uh, border bottom none. 
border bottom none. So border bottom none. Then just put important. There you go. So there's no border bottom there. But the problem is though, yeah, that's fine. So now if we, <clears throat> if we did this uh, here like that, now we have, we're going to have a problem. So what I'm going to show you guys now is how to make those things scrollable, right? So we can uh, do that with some simple CSS. We can just uh, put a class in there. So let's come back to dashboard and um, I guess right inside this nav pills in this unordered list, um, we can put, uh, let's call a class. I'm just going to name this, uh, I don't know, scroll menu, I guess. Scroll, uh, uh, scroll, uh, scroll dash menu. That way scrollable on mobile, horizontal. Let's put uh, X horizontal. Oh, re horizontal horizontal scroll menu so we can take this horizontal scroll menu copy that and uh, what we can do is just come back to application.css and do uh, so dot horizontal scroll menu and we can the most important things when you're trying to get a horizontal scroll menu is that you want uh, uh, First of all, let's put background transparent, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no. Let's put uh, white dash space. So white space, uh, no wrap, okay? No wrap. White space, no wrap. And then we can put uh, overflow auto, overflow. Uh, overflow auto okay so after overflow auto the next most important thing uh, shit, I can't remember uh, oh man I can't remember I think it's uh, hmm. we can just google it but let's see what happens here uh, all right, so let's come back. That's not gonna work, but actually, we need to save up. We need to save this one as well. Save it and refresh here. Uh, of course, it's not gonna work. So I suppose that. Uh, um, oh, we need to do the flex wrap. We need to do this flex wrap. Um, yeah, so let's, 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 uh, come back here, inspect. <clears throat> so let's just select, I'm going to select one of those here, like mobile menu and inside my menu, I'm going to find, this is the row. This is the nav pills inside this horizontal scroll menu. I'm going to add another, um, I'm going to say flex. Uh, so I guess flex wrap, yeah, and then no wrap. <laughs> Perfect. So flex wrap, no wrap. Perfect. So that's what we need to add. That's that's what we were missing. Flex wrap, no wrap. Mm, yeah. See, that's the white space to make sure. There you go. So uh, let's uh, close this here. Come back here in application.scss. Uh, save it, <clears throat> come back, refresh. So if we come here now, look, so we have we have a horizontal menu that we can scroll. So in regards to the, <clears throat> so um, first of all, I don't really like this shadow that much. And yeah, we should make it white background. <clears throat> so let's come back to application HTML RB. And uh, Inside the content, I'm going to put uh, style uh, style equals to color, uh, no, background color. Background dash color, make it white, okay? 
So background color white, we can say FFF, it's the same thing. Okay, so save it and then um, come back here and when we refresh this, you're gonna notice the shadow here is way too strong. So let's inspect this shadow and uh, and uh, act actually, you know what? which shadows I really like? I like the material shadows. I think uh, materi material uh, uh, box shadows. And I think there is in code pen, if you click on code pen here, you'll notice those little shadows. They're really, really nice. They're very useful to have. So like this one here has a little bit of shadow, you see? And, and uh, so I think the first one here is card. Uh, it just has a border, but this shadow here is really nice. So I'm going to take this card one and I'm going to call this shadow. Uh, I guess I'm going to call it shadow dash one. Okay. So come back here in application.scss. I'm going to put it here in my helper classes. Uh, oops, command Z. So uh, dot shadow dash one. Okay, and I'm gonna put that in my nav bar and save it. So grab this class here that we just made, copy, come back to dashboard and um, no, in application.html.erb, nope, 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 let's go to uh, shared uh, nav bar. In nav bar, there is a shadow here. Remove this shadow, that's from Bootstrap. So I'm gonna put shadow one, save it. Come back here to pet adoption, refresh, and there should be a nicer shadow. There we go. I think so. I think it's a nicer shadow. I don't know. What do you think? What do you guys think? Or should we just use this, uh, the card shadow? Display inline block height. Of course not. That's, that's, that doesn't mean nothing. But we can play with those numbers. Like, come back here to pet adoption. Yeah, this, this looks like a. It's fine for me. It's fine to me. Now, in regards to the spacing on top, um, we can definitely do something about that, but it seems like on mobile, it's fine. I don't know. I guess we can put um, spacing mar uh, margins. Margins. So margin right three, margin MT would be MT10. Um, Layout margin. Spacing utilities, that's what it's called. So uh, T stands for top, margin top, B. So margin uh, for classes that set margin or padding. Okay, that's fine. So, so margin top zero, margin top one means so margin top one, MT one. So we can add an MT one on top of this margin bottom four. So instead of margin bottom four, why don't we do margin bottom five? That's in the nav bar. Come back to put adoption, refresh. There, that looks a little better, I think. All right, um, fine. So we now we have done the navigation. Okay, great. So we have done, guys, I've done a perfect navigation menu. We have this here. <laughs> it looks terrible. You know why this looks like that now? Because I put uh, white space, no wrap. That's why, because I put that white space, no wrap in the application that CSS, this white space, no wrap uh, in this here. Over white space, no wrap, is it? Overflow auto. So inspect. And uh, if we just click this left thing and then come here in this container, in the row, in the nav pills, this, uh, this overflow auto is not needed. So if we unselect overflow auto, this will work. And, um, but it's not gonna scroll. So we have a catch 22 here. So we, we definitely need the overflow auto because the overflow auto is what makes it scroll, right? 
so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do now? So come back to dashboard and um, I guess overflow. This um, so we know this won't work now if we if we are in mobile and I want to click here, it's not going to show. But if I uh, select this class, if I select this drop down menu and I say overflow, overflow visible, Z index one. Uh, position, no, um, uh, uh, so overflow, overflow scroll, no, I'm just guessing now guys, uh, overflow auto, overflow overlay. Okay, uh, after overflow auto, after overflow auto, drop down menu not showing. So what's it doing here? Click function my drop down. Let's see what, uh, okay, that's not helping by much. Overflow hidden. Popping out of hidden overflow there. So there we go, popping out of hidden overflow. Overflow X visible, overflow auto. The problem, basically this, turn this overflow X auto overflow y auto let's see i don't know i'm not i'm not an expert in, S, uh, in css guys so i'm just gonna remove this z index i'm gonna remove this and i'm gonna try to put those <laughs> uh, position why is this position absolute Okay, so I don't know what to do, guys. If you have any, if you have any ideas, can you please help me out? If you guys figure it out. Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna be doing it outside of this video, but please, guys, uh, stay tuned on part 15, and uh, no, uh, stay tuned on part. Uh, I suppose we're in part 14 now. Stay tuned for part uh, 15, where uh, I guess this is not good enough. Let's just okay, hang on. Let's just come back. And grab all this uh, from uh, registrations. Okay, let's go to device and go to registrations edit. Now this here, uh, this is a column. This here, I want to grab all this, guys. I want to grab all this. Okay, I want to grab this here, the profile and the profile form. Okay, and uh, just the profile actually, just the profile like that. So copy the profile and which is going to be on the left, and. Um, because and then come back close uh, and then come back to dashboard and this is just the dashboard right this is just the container of the dashboard so we can do another container here uh, and then remove this height okay there's no need to have the height uh, so I'm gonna do a, a div dot container and inside of that, I'm going to do uh, div dot row. And inside that row, I'm going to do a, a here. I'm going to paste that in. Okay, I paste it in. Uh, I pasted the profile. Okay, I'm going to minimize the profile. I pasted the profile that I copied. And uh, beside it, this is going to take like uh, you know one um, one third of the column so now I want to do a div dot call dash uh, extra large eight 
extra large eight dash eight and call dash large dash five no, dash seven sorry because it needs to add the, add up to 12 right just maybe just do what i'm doing right now and you'll be fine and in here i'm going to add a bunch of stuff here that uh, i'm going to add a bunch of cards okay so come back to bootstrap uh i'm going to come here to say cards cards so then just beautiful little cards like that that's all that's all we need you know like or any of these cards you see those cards so that's going to imagine like you know add a pet it's going to be like that so these are going to display all, all all my pets so uh you know copy it like that and in here we have a column eight let's put a, a div dot row and inside that uh, row i'm going to do uh, div dot call dash um, div dot row div dot call dash I don't know we're gonna put three per row so dot call dash four and uh, inside we're gonna put a card tap paste that card in like that so we gonna do we have I'm gonna say three I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna go like this I'm gonna say three uh, it goes like that right say uh, three columns three columns a row okay and uh, so that's like that's one column copy nope that's one column here uh, paste nope I copied copy and copy this copy paste yep and then paste so three columns save it come back here to put adoption refresh and it looks really bad. <laughs> um, you can do. Uh, we need to put a margin. So we come back here. Put uh, yeah, space utilities space. Spacing. So we put a margin just M2 or M3. So let's do uh, M2, M-2. A copy, paste, paste, save it. I mean, refresh this. The minute you put spacing, everything starts to look uh, Okay, that's all right. That's okay. All right. Um, so maybe we can do uh, remove one column. Okay. I'm going to remove one column. And let's do this uh, column six. Do this, uh, call this column six. And this margin, I guess. Uh, oh. Come back to Bootstrap. We probably messed up with the margins. MX Auto. MX Auto. Margin left and right. Right. Custom column spacing or custom. Okay. Right. So a negative margin. Horizontal. So margin left. Examples. M for margin, P for padding. Okay, that's cool. So uh, how did they do it here? I guess when they put the uh, columns here, for instance. They put cards, columns, they put them inside of cards. 
card and then shadow. So they put column, margin, bottom. Okay, I understand. So this is called, uh, let's call this call large, call dash large dash six. So in large screens, I want it to be six, call uh, LG dash six. So let's remove this M2, we don't need that. And then for small screens, I want it to be, um, yeah, that should be good for small screens too. Come back to put adoption, refresh. So it should look like that, yeah. Right? So let's come, let's bring back our third column that we removed. Copy that, paste it in, and uh, let's make it a four, and make this a four. And let's make this one a four as well. And then we should put call small, uh, call dash uh, dash small for small screens to be six. Okay. And then it will restack. Yeah. So each row will have ha uh, one column. There'll be two columns per row for small screens. So come back here, refresh. Hmm. So what's the problem here? We're back to our original problem, which is uh, which is fine. So uh, I think there is no need to have a container here because uh, we have a container on the top, right? Because this is just where the we can put everything in here. So let's remove this row and the container and the, the last two divs. And uh, let's grab this here, this profile, and then uh, let's put another row. Div dot row. Like that. That's gonna be better. Yeah, there's no not necessary to do that. And then uh, M mar uh, let's put a margin top, margin dash top dash three mt3 mt3 save it there so we can do mt5 then like that and in regards to those cards, there's something that we've done wrong. So uh, so uh, in regards to these cards, column extra large four, column large, what is this? This is the profile card. Let's minimize the profile card. So in here, we're doing something wrong. We need to call this uh let's put this in call this a card instead. No no no. Um well let's just uh do two for now and I will fix this later if I have to. Let's just do like that. And then remove this one. Just make two, two per column. Save it. It's gonna be fine like this. So obviously, <clears throat> we're gonna have to add this into a card too. So uh, in here we have a row with blah blah blah, and then here we have a profile. And inside the profile, there is a card. So we should do the same thing. No. Card, card shadow. It's the card is inside the column, right? Uh,
card card shadow see the main problem here is that yeah so this is the uh, okay I, I don't i don't see what i'm doing wrong here so i think i think i'm fine i think it's fine like that so if i were to get like free images uh unsplash dog so so you can download this one uh, so i'm gonna just uh, show in finder uh, okay so i'm gonna grab my image i'm gonna copy it uh, click on uh, projects uh, click on pet adoption click on um, app assets and images and i'm gonna just drop it like that and i'm gonna name this uh, sample sample dash dog so i'm gonna copy this just gonna copy the name and then close this close that come back here uh, and then for every image uh, i'm gonna just do a remove oh, no i'm gonna just leave it like this an image tag and put the file name and i'm gonna put the class copy that and paste it in like that <laughs> oops um so grab this image tag and i'm gonna put it here as well save that come back to pet adoption Oh, that I forgot to put the comma. Forgot to put the comma. Save it. Regret. Refresh. Okay. So why do we have a problem with the first one but not the second one? I'm gonna say here uh, two columns per row. So that's the first column. Uh, we got the second column yeah because I forgot to remove the old image save it <clears throat> all right so these would be the pets right um, yeah so all right, guys. So this this is gonna be the uh, uh, I think the I'm gonna put a margin top on top of this uh, nav bar. So let's let's come here like this. How how would how would this look? This would look like that. So for small, it needs to be. We need to display these cards like this, where they can, where there is a, a no wrap, where we can just hover over them, or we scroll them like horizontal menu, just just like the top one, just like the menu. Like so, what we need to do is is over here, in this column small six, we need to make calls column small twelve, and then uh, call dash large dash six, so that in large they're gonna be. Take half the screen, half the row, and then so come back, refresh, and and uh, it would look like that. So for large, hmm, yeah, we need to display them side by side. Okay, guys, I'll uh, uh, I'll continue um, on my own, and because I don't want to like record everything uh, because it's gonna take forever, and. 
So what I'll do is I'll, uh, you guys can pull from my, my repository. Okay, I'm gonna make this public right now. Uh, so if you want, uh, I can I can repository settings and I'll make this public. So you guys can just do a, a git pull. And um, I'm gonna click on advanced and I'll make it public for you guys, okay? So you guys can uh, can pull from here. All right, guys, so I promise this will be public for you. Okay, guys, uh, see you guys in part 15.